Carlson, it was the boyfriend of that toll collector who came here and shot two people, according to investigators. Let me show you where the first shooting happened. They say that the suspect pulled up in this parking lot here, got out of his car, went over to that white truck, shot the driver inside, then started to walk to the toll booth. It's just a short distance away, toll booth number three. You can see right now the coroner's van over there. They're removing the body of the victim, his girlfriend, from that toll booth at this hour. Take a look at the video we shot just a short while ago. You can see the booth up close. Uh, see how investigators have been there all night taking a lot of pictures and doing a, a lot of work with that toll booth. After the suspect, uh, police say, shot those two people he got in his car and fled the scene. Keep in mind, now this was all during rush hour traffic. There were not only a lot of cars here, almost all the toll booths were open. And that's what surprises investigators the most about this event. Uh, it's just such a brazen attack, broad daylight, numerous people crossing the bridge. Um, it, it's just brazen, very brazen. We understand this may be a domestic related um, crime. We're looking for the suspect who is identified as Nathaniel Burris. That is 46-year-old Nathaniel Burris, 5'9", 165 pounds. Again, he is the boyfriend of the victim, police say. He was last seen driving a white Ford minivan, 2005. It's basically a shuttle. Uh, it's a Western Eagle shuttle. It says right on there in big orange writing, Western Eagle shuttle, very recognizable. They believe he may be headed to Sacramento where he has family. The license plate of that minivan, 8 u 40504 now back here live at the toll plaza, you can see the coroner's van is still at that toll booth removing the body, the body of the other victim in that white truck just a short distance away. Uh, a very tragic scene. As far as that toll booth worker, 51-year-old Deborah Ross, she has worked for Caltrans for eight years. As far as the other victim who was still in the, the car over here, we asked if there's any relation uh, to not only the victim or the suspect. They will not say at this point it is something that they are checking into. That is the very latest from the Toll Blues Plaza. I'm Richard Sharp, KCRA 3 Reports.